Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, May 25th, I think. <laughs> it's 2023. And it's what you're working on Thursday. I didn't have any chance at all to record yesterday. Kids were crazy. <laughs> and um, I did get to crochet a lot though. So this is stuff I technically worked on Wednesday. But I am also working on it today too. So see right here. I was just working on it. <laughs> Kids are still asleep. So I'm going to take this opportunity to record <laughs> while I can and uh maybe I can get it edited here in a little bit but it might also be later today so who knows you'll see you'll, see, you'll pop up whenever it pops up so I worked on two things yesterday two patterns but I made a bunch of them okay so the first thing that I was working on yesterday was some granny squares this is a free pattern by Maria's Blue Crown it's just called Solid Granny Square I made this forever ago making that Halloween blanket and the Christmas one and I just love that pattern so I, I just go to it a lot and what it is is I pulled out this ball of yarn to kick yarn right here it is carrying baby cakes that I had on hand I just I bought it when I was first pregnant with June and I didn't know if she was a boy or a girl I bought a pink one too which I didn't think I used but I guess I did because I can't find it and uh, it, this one's called stargazing it's a worsted four, and there are 560 yards in here. So I'm just making a bunch of granny squares out of it. So yesterday, I made, this was the first one. I'm just letting the colors pull so that I'm solid <laughs> however they want to. And I'm just going to make like probably a baby blanket out of these. And what I'm doing is I'm going to use up this cake. I'm going to make as many squares as I can out of that. And then I pulled out some yarn from my stash that kind of went with it. This is a red heart, uh, light blue, I think it's called. And this is, uh, I love this yarn. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have the ball band. But I just thought they kind of went together. And I might also get white and make some white squares. And then I'm just going to sew it together and put like a simple border on it. And it'll be a baby blanket that I can even have on hand to give to like a friend. And then I need to make a pink one too. And maybe like a gender neutral one. Um, or I'll donate it. I just, I like making squares. <laughs> and someone, who was it? Oh, Heather from, um. The crochet witch heather uh she makes squares a lot and every time i watch her videos and she's showing them i'm like man i want to make some squares so she got me making squares so that's five of them and then i did start this one yesterday in the truck <laughs> and i didn't finish it so i'm working on it today and then i'm gonna just keep making those until that cake runs out and then i'll switch over to the solid colors and make some of those enough to make it a decent size blanket and then sew it together Anyways, the second thing I was working on yesterday was the Little Suns. <laughs> this is a free pattern by Once Upon a Cheerio. And so I made four of them. There's three of the regular size ones. And this one, oops, I was watching Little House on Prairie. And I wasn't paying attention. And accidentally, I didn't increase enough. I missed the increase. So I had to alter the pattern just a little bit. So it's a little bit smaller. But it still works. <laughs> I still made it work out. So this is just a slightly smaller. And yes, I still got all my ends I got to weave in. But um, these are for me to, I'm going to put the little sunglasses on and faces and leave them around my town. I'm going to talk about that. I'm trying to build a little stash of stuff to do that with. Uh, and also my sister wants one. She wants one with purple sunglasses. So um, I'm just going to make these until I run out of that ball of yarn. Let me get over here. This one. This is a um, Premier Just Yarn from the Dollar Tree. I can't remember what the color is because I don't have the ball band with me but I'm just gonna I could probably make like four or five more out of what's left here I do have another whole ball of this so I might end up making more <laughs> but I'm just gonna use up this ball with suns and then maybe switch to another pattern and start making something else because right now I've got suns I got some flowers and I got those lucky pennies and I might try to make something else to to live around and then I'll I'm gonna make a separate video when that time comes of how I package them up and um the little notes that I put inside and then I might make a video also of where I'm putting them throughout my town just because I thought that'd be fun but um yeah so I gotta weave in all these ends and the squares <laughs> but right now while the kids are still asleep I'm going to sit here and crochet and watch some YouTube videos that I'm full behind on <laughs> and um yeah just have some fun this morning and wait for the babies to wake up but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here let me know down below what you guys have been working on I did post on the Facebook group yesterday and I got some replies to it and I love it when you guys share pictures with me of what you're working on. It's fun to see. And there's some of them that I can't wait to see them finished. So I hope they come back and share um, their finished picture. Because uh, one of them is a, I think it's, she said it was a chameleon. And it'll be cool to see it finished. It looked like it had a lot of parts that needed to be sewed on. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm going to sit here and crochet some more and I will see you guys in another video. And yeah, this weekend's a holiday weekend here in the U.S. It's Memorial Day weekend, which is technically supposed to be for remembrance of people who have served and died in our military. I mean, that's what it is. But it's also the beginning of summer, technically, or like the official beginning of summer, at least where I live. Because I know, like, in some parts of the U.S., it's still really cold. <laughs> so this weekend is going to be full of, like, barbecues and people out boating and stuff. So if you're any of those people, please be careful. And if you have any family members who have served and uh, died, I hate saying that, but um, thank you for your family service. And um, I hope everybody has a safe weekend. Don't get out and do crazy things. Don't party. <laughs> and remember, to if you do go out and party, to get a ride home so that you don't risk your life or other people's lives. And this weekend, we're going to be spending a lot of time at my mom's and my in-law's. We usually like cook out and hot dogs and stuff. And then my father-in-law, this is the weekend where we clean up his pool and get it going. And this would be June's first time getting in the pool. So we got her little bathing suit and a little um, baby float thing. So it's going to be fun. But uh, I got a feeling it's going to be cold. <laughs> it's kind of chilly. But um, anyways, just have fun this weekend and be safe. And I will see you guys in another video, probably in a day or two, or three or four, who knows. <laughs> Whenever I pop back up, you'll see me. But I'll leave these patterns linked below, the sun and the green square. That's one of my favorite, just go to green squares. It's super easy, and um, I got it, like, memorized. So, <laughs> it's just nice to set and just be able to whip them out without thinking about it. But anyways, I'm blabbing. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.